Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies the Giant. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. For those of you who didn't watch the last episode, first of all, why not? I mean, there's not really a reason because you're not missing it on any important story or anything. But I'm basically just having a good time playing a survival map until round 20. We are currently at round 10, and so this will probably be an episode from round 10 to 20. And then once that's done, we are just going to call it there. I'm going to let myself go down, and then that's it. Nothing too special. Just going to have some fun playing a game that I like. Because right now, I'm kind of dry on content. I don't really own any other games to play that I want to make a Let's Play on. Oh, oh damn. That sucks. I thought I'd be able to slide past. Maybe if I actually did slide, I could have made it, but... Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I didn't get that. You know what? That's actually not a big deal because right now I can just go across and run for my life and hopefully not die. If I ever die also, like if I ever do just lose, then I'm also just going to end that there. So we're not going to go through and play again or anything like that. We're not going to go until I survive the 20 rounds. Unless I die within like the first three rounds, then I will because dying round three is just pathetic. Now that we have this, we can actually complete some secrets. Before I want to go about doing that, I want to get some points so I can get some perks back. We're going to need this, which is my revive serum. This will allow me to revive once if I go down. It's that little icon on the bottom left. That little blue guy standing up. That's him being safe. So now we have dogs respawning, or dogs spawning in. So we can just shoot them. Assuming I can hit them, Jesus. I think one comes down from over there. I don't know. Just get this guy. I love this weapon so much, by the way. The Argus is easily one of the best guns to use in this game. It's just fun to use. I'm not really a fan of slug shot, like shotguns in video games, but the Argus is fun. Now that everything's reloaded, we can collect the max ammo, get a full so stock a refill. We haven't used that swords. yet. And we are no, not no. yet available to get the, uh, what should we call it? brain's not working the juggernaut because it's 2500 points but if we come over here and we shoot this little control panel oof, that'll that'll start floating up Let's play hide and, seek. and as the voice just said i don't know how loud the voice is for you guys to hear but we're gonna play some hide and seek so now the goal is basically just to look around the map there's some items we have to find, and we have to shoot them with this gun. Well, with this gun in particular, I actually don't know if you need a pack-a-punch gun. I don't think you need to shoot them with a pack-a-punch gun. But there's just some items on the map we now have to shoot. And so I can show you where all those are, but first, I want to grab this. That way I can stay alive a little bit longer. Also, surprisingly, only about seven and a half more rounds to go. Which I didn't even realize we were already around 12. But that's what's fun about COD. They go by very fast, I think. That's something that I've always enjoyed. Is like, if you're not doing the main puzzles, the actual gameplay itself is relatively simple and just relaxing, and so it really doesn't take all that much time or all that thought power, which, for better or worse, depending on the experience you want. So if you want more thought power of a, like, if you want a very thought-requiring gameplay session, you can do some easter eggs. You can find some puzzles, you can do stuff like that, but you don't have to. So I'm just having a good time. I could hear you. Sound like multiple guys, though. I'm gonna grab this, so I can reload a little bit faster and move a little bit faster. Speed cola speeds up your life. Um, I know all the perk. Well, not all of them actually. I know most of the perk cola jingles. Although I don't think I know all of them all the way through actually. Once we get a few zombies left, I'm gonna make a shot. Try and find something. I believe it's up here, right there. That teddy bear was not there before. Hey, you found one. See. Now the voice tells us, hey, we found one. So now we can go around and look for a few more of them. Not too much of an issue. It's pretty dang good. Oh, I've been a bit hesitant to use that gobble gum there for no real reason. Another one is actually within this little container right here. See that little monkey right there? The symbol monkey? If we shoot him, that's another one gone. I'm going to use this so I don't die, because I just got myself trapped in a corner like an idiot. And yeah, there's the double tap. Right, right there. Which I can't ping. I don't know why I just pressed the ping button as if I was playing Fortnite, which... I, 
do want to play, but like, I really don't want the season thing to only be for such a short period of time. It'd be cool if it was like, hey, we're going back to the original map, and this is just going to be a secondary mode that you can play whenever you want. And it would be super fucking popular, and Epic would have a lot more players. I think they did. I think it was like 2.5 million players signed on when that update came out with Fortnite OG. And it's like, Epic Games, if you don't capitalize on this and keep this as a mode, you guys are going to lose all of that player base the moment this mode leaves. People are saying that they're going to go through some of the old events and stuff. But I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen. And if it does, that's kind of cool, but... Maybe that would get me back into it. If they went into the old map and did some more events, things like that. I'm just not sure. Because I had a very bad addiction to Fortnite for such a long time. Let me just use this again, because I was being stupid using that gun in the first place. Uh, oh, and we're actually where we need to go. So let's go over here. And down here, in this little batch of whatever this is... Another teddy bear. So we shoot this one. I see it. The beacon is lit. I know where and when you are. He knows where and when we are. Destruction will be absolute. Such a refreshing beverage. That's pretty cool. Now that our friend, ally, demonic ghost voice, knows where and when we are. We can save the children. Hey, man, if you don't know the lore stuff, that just sounds weird. But now, something I probably should have shown off before. There's the gun. This is what we get for doing that little thing. We get a specialist weapon, which down here just shows up. Each bullet we use takes up part of the meter. There's 20 total. And then it can recharge just by killing some zombies. I also think it does recharge over time, but I don't think it can fill up over time. Like, I don't think it can actually finish. I'm not sure about that, though. I do know that, obviously, for sure, killing zombies will recharge it. Like this. See, it went up, and it's now ready to be used again. But, pretty decent weapon. I'm fairly confident it's just a one-shot gun. I think if you just shoot anything, it just instant kills. Although, I don't believe you count with head... Oh, you can count on shots. Does body shots count as head shots? Nope. I didn't know that it differentiated between head shots with this gun. I don't like it that much, because it has a very, very slow rate of fire. But, I mean, it's just a better Argus as it stands. So, if we just go pop and pop. But it's pretty cool. I love this weapon. Argus is so cool, man. And now, round 15. Also, we can grab a new set of gobble gum now, or a new chewing gum. In plain sight? I'll take that. This one basically makes us invisible and immune to damage for a short period of time. Actually, are you immune immune to damage? Or is it immune to damage from zombies? I think you're immune to damage while you activate it, but you're not totally immune to damage. Hey, I've leveled up again. You can tell how much I've played this game. I've, I've prestiged a few different times. Although, not as much as some other people. Ooh, I'll take the Dracon. I love the Dracon. Although I don't have it customized right now, because I don't have that uh, ability unlocked with the weapon level that I'm at. Or with my character level. You need to be a high enough level to manipulate each weapon individually, because each weapon is assigned to a specific level. So being level, I think it said I was level 7, I do not yet have the ability to customize this gun. But I do love running this gun with Iron Sight. So Iron Sight is not having that scope on top. It's just a little circular thing. Similar to this, this one has the ELO sight on it, which I'd also be happy to have on this gun. Although, I want to grab that real quick. That's fun. Just getting the death machine out and just ripping through zombies. Always a good time. Reload all my guns. Appreciate that. It's just fun. It's good, relaxing fun. And honestly, I don't really have much else to say at this point because I have the special gun. I've got everything I need. I could go upgrade the uh, Dracon now if I really wanted to, but kind of don't want to upgrade that weapon because I don't want to have a sniper rifle with a scope on it. Not my personal taste. Ooh, you know what I'll do? I'm going to go over back to here real quick. Secret thingy. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go right into this. And I'm going to use the mystery box a few times now that we're on a dog ground. VMP, very good weapon for points. This is my friend Lou's favorite gun in this game. Lou's been on the channel a few different times, so it's not 
Let's hope it's not too unfamiliar a name. I will happily accept the Haymaker. This gun is insane. And Symbol Monkeys! Okay, then I guess I can show you guys this secret little thing now then. Alright then. Well, since we're doing this, I'm going to make a point of it right here. I'm going to show you this. The Snow Mound. Nothing's there. It's friggin' ugly and stupid and smelly. I will also actually upgrade my Anointed Avenger real quick. Maybe get a secondary bullet type on this. Also, cool. Nice. This doesn't refill it when you pack a punch it a second time. Thunderwall! That'll launch my enemies up. But there's three switches here. And a big old button. That's it. Also a giant head over there, which I think is kind of why this map is called a giant. Because that's being... Bi I didn't know that moved. That's fucking cool. I did not know that moved. Okay, well now there's a secondary thing I can show you guys. Which is that this map actually has a bunch of teleporters. So we linked the teleporters to the mainframe in the first episode. So now in this one, if I throw this guy down... Uh, well, I missed it. But if I do this... And just be bad at the game... Like that. I'm just bad at the game. But a max ammo spawned in so I can try again! Thanks. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you, disembodied voice named Samantha. The little girl disembodied voice that you heard just then. That was Samantha. We appreciate that. Like money. I probably shouldn't stand up here, but the KM should just push through it all. Not to worry. Um, I do want to go try it again and not fuck it up this time, hopefully. So let's go to a teleporter. Let's go to the one in here. Although, I honestly don't recall specifically how to do it. I thought you had to throw this monkey and then turn the portal on, or turn the portal on and then throw the monkey. But maybe you can just go like this. Throw it in. Teleport to the mainframe. Monkey screams! Did you hear that? Ah! And there were zombie faces in the shadows. And now one of the lights is green and one of the thing, volts meters, is up. Going up. And up. And up. So that means that we did it correctly. I don't believe you can do more than one of those for each of the teleporters per turn, but you might be able to. I just don't recall. The monkey bombs, the symbol monkeys, do not regenerate per turn as your grenades do, though. So I'll have to get a max ammo if I miss any of these. Which is why getting that max ammo from the thing before was really, really helpful. I'm gonna grab this just because it's green. Oh, I don't have the green on it. I put the snow, I put the arctic camo on it for some reason. I normally have a radiated green, which looks really stupid and bad, but I think it's funny. I could also go pack a punch this weapon now. Which would be quite good. Because that'll just basically mean that no matter what happens, I won't die. But it's already a good weapon. So, I'm not too worried. Though I will do it, just because. It does mean that I'm going to need a bit more points now if I want to go do the rest of those. So let me grab this. The Shoe Shining. That is the upgraded version of the Haymaker. And this is easily one of the best weapons in the game. If not, I think this, I think this is probably... I think this is arguably the best weapon in the game, in terms of just normal main weapons. Like, not from Easter eggs, not any math-specific weapons. I think the Haymaker is just the best actual gun in the game. Bonk. Alright, uh, let's go do the one that I messed up on in the first place. I think that one would be a good one to start off with this time. And then we don't have to worry, hopefully. The symbol Monkeys, now that I can actually explain what they do, they attract zombies to you. The point of them is basically to clap really loudly, scream like that, and the zombies will follow the symbol monkeys and all gather around it, and then the symbol monkey bomb will explode, doing a bunch of damage to the zombies, rather than hurt you as the player, which is really, really, really helpful, especially in multiplayer, because it means it can distract someone while you revive a teammate if they've gone down, or if you need to do an objective, assuming you're doing the tasks on the maps, like the little Easter eggs as we call them. Then yeah, pretty damn helpful. My reputation precedes me. My reputation precedes me. But I have to laugh. Ridiculous! How come no one will have you on the staff? 
Shut up. I heard you screaming in my ear. If you try to moan in my ear, I'm okay with that. But, like, I don't know if I want dudes moaning in my ear, to be honest. Hey, daily shotgun survivalist. I didn't look at my challenges at all. Well, that's pretty cool. Bunk. I also don't want ladies moaning in my ear. If I don't know you, don't moan in my ear. And if I do know, mo no, if I, what? If I do know you, also don't moan in my ear, please? That's pretty weird. Once you have a gun, pack a punch. You can actually come to the wall by, if it's available on the map, and spend 4,500 points to refill the ammo. So I'll do that real quick. And bam! We're back at max. Although I now don't have enough points to buy that. So I'm going to have to get some real quick. So we'll go towards the end of this round, I think. Whoa, buckaroo. Don't you sap! Do 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 Sail! I still don't know what he's saying in that. Is he saying sail? Like, what, what is that video? What, is the, what the fuck is that guy saying? Insta-kill, I'll take. That's knifey. 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 I mean, if they die instantly, wouldn't the best tactic just be hold your weapon out in front of you? Let them run into it? Because they kind of just fall. It's not like it like, gets stuck on them. Or maybe it can get stuck on them. Maybe that's why you don't do that. Uh, let's not die to this. I'm at 4,500 points now, so in a moment we can head down there. And I can do the last symbol monkey into the teleporter. Bonk. It screamed, which means I did it correctly. Now if we head back here, the zombie faces appear one last time. And the third one is right there. Also, this one actually spawned an item, which the others just didn't for whatever reason. Is that just really unlucky? Should it have spawned an item? Huh. Now this big red button is available to be pressed, so let's... Boom. The robot eye is reflecting off the sign there. And that snow pile gets melted, revealing the final little perk bottle, which is a secret. So in this game, it was stamina up, which, as I've said, makes you run a little bit faster, increases the duration at which you can run, and that's basically it. The other option could have been Deadshot Daiquiri, which makes you basically automatically lock onto zombies' heads, and it follows them very, very, very strongly, which also has the best perk jingle, in my opinion. I love the Deadshot Daiquiri song, and it's this hard rock song, and I fucking love it, man. It is great. But... We are on round 20, which means I've officially done everything there is to do within the map, the giant. So, let's go over here and say goodbye. Let's blow myself up real quick using my grenade. Bonk. I'll get revived. And I now have these. So let's shoot them. Um. I don't think it wanted to get shot. I didn't know that would happen, to be honest. That actually really confused me. This map also has traps, like this electric trap. And if I walk into this, I will die. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. And if you haven't, there's always the rest of your day. There's always tomorrow. The day after that. So on and so forth. Things don't get better unless you let them, so give yourself time and things will improve. I promise. Thank you for joining. I had a good time. It was just fun. It was fun doing simple stuff. Take care of yourselves, everybody.